so I took it as a heckle. Mm. He's being immediate. I'm Brandon. You shouldn't have worn a dress. I'm like, could you call me directly and tell me? You know I mean, at the time, yeah, so I'm 25 it. years old. You know, uh, doing a film with Martin. I'm like, why is he so mad that I'm doing a film with Martin? He ain't know me. That's what I thought. <laughs> Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk. Wow. I just really, like I said, man, I see you. You started it off right, you know. I got, I'm got. i a dive in, you know. Oh, like, gonna go ahead yeah, because I, I really like, like your name, it, you know, it carries weight. You praise know, God. Listen, man, I, I, praise God, man. 43 million uh, 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 views right mm-hmm. now for Shannon Shaw. Yeah. Uh, that means your name has been mentioned <laughs> 43 so million times. I was so happy that I was dissed. Mike Epps was upset. <laughs> I'm like, thank you, Cap, for dissing me. I'm like, thank you. said, you could have called my name. Call my name, please. So I just it's really, amazing. I, I mean, you know, because I called Faze on that day, as you yeah, know. I, know. I was like, man, they done call your name by two times on here. He said, <laughs> all right, I'm going to call you back. He called me back. What would you say? I said, bro, they, they, it's still going on right now. Nigga. Do you know how many calls I got? <laughs> bro, yo, Cat said, I'm like, yo, let's Go. <laughs> My ticket sold out. Thank you, Cat. <laughs> and the Dark Matter Tour. I love you guys. Oh, man. Like, Shout out to Cat Williams. Man, for I that. just, like I said, when I look at something like that, you know, you, you got, God has blessed me. I'm dealing with a lot of comedians. I yeah. promise you, that's what I'm dealing with. I see it. And and so when I think about, when I thought about you, I was like, man, I'm for the car. He coming to what? This ain't number God. You know, that's how I roll. Come like, on now. Oh, this ain't number God. Come I mean, on now. He coming here, and I'm a man to love God. So this going to work. So I turn around and, uh, I, I hit you up, but the thing I really was looking at was like, dang, I wonder how you feel about him mentioning his name and after all these years, because you mentioned his name back when he was, you thought he was heckling you. Yeah, I thought he was hating that on me. That girl, I don't know who she was, but she was trying to stop you from talking. Cause, I don't know. Cause, cause, <laughs> what are you saying? Yeah, tell Cat Williams I said that What about, what about... Oh, that was that. that Who that, was that? that, that, that Bruh, that's, <laughs> that, that, that's the one I just called. Oh, that was her. <laughs> yeah, she, that's was to, she was trying to protect me because mm-hmm. I'm 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 not I'm not a slave. Don't give me that about I wore a dress. Yeah, you wore a perm. True. Okay, I'm a don't free know how to man. Censor. I'm a free man. I talk what I say, and if it gets me in trouble, it's like, yo, that's that's between God and and, and society. He loves Cat Williams. He loves Cat Williams. But he calling me out. Now. Come on, uh-huh. But the, the thing is, this cat never spoke to me directly. Okay. Excuse me. So I took it as a heckle. Mm. He's being immediate. I'm Brandon. You shouldn't have worn a dress. I'm like, could you call me directly and tell me? You know I mean, at the time. Yeah, so I'm 25 it. years old, you know, uh, doing a film with Martin. I'm like, why is he so mad that I'm doing a film with Martin? He ain't know me. That's what I thought. <laughs> But he was trying to warn me. I know. He was trying to say Brandon. But the way he says it, because every time I say K, he's like, Brandon T. Jackson, I'm not talking to you anymore. <laughs> I'm like, what did I do? And you know what you did. I'm like, could you sit me down and tell me the actual history of what we call buck breaking, of yeah. we call, what we call emasculating men in society? And shout out to all communities. You know, we're not going to bash any communities. When we're talking about heterosexual men and we're talking about men that, that take care of families, these are things that we have to understand that the the, the, the psychological psychologically on us as actors we have to deal with so much you know and we don't want to feel like we're bashing people what we also want to do is be true to who we are and it's it's, it's 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 tough because it's like when something compromises your spirituality or your or what you feel your manhood mm. you know or what you identify as you That's see what real. I'm saying? So I, you can't. If someone tell me I identify as this, and you challenge them, you're you're now, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, you're, you're combating the identification. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And they always say, "What's well, acting? It's acting." Okay. Cool. Great. I'm gonna tell you something about acting. Robert Downey Jr. was really black in that scene. I seen it. That he came late to the set one time. He's like, you know how we always late. I said, like, No, I nigga, I don't know how we always late. What is? <laughs> He was black for he's, real. He going all the way in on this one. Mentally, great actors live it. He studied yeah. it. Great actors live what we're saying. So yeah. you want me to live a lifestyle that I'm not uh, accustomed to, I should say. Wow. So now I'm living lives I'm not accustomed to. And to play it, it's like those things could come off uh, uh, very uh, psychologically damaging where you have to get uh, therapy, 
uh, mental health mm -hmm. because you're living the lifestyle of something you're not accustomed to. Don't they, they call that, that, hold on, don't they call that method acting or I'm something a, like that? Yeah. I'm, a, I'm a method because, actor. Right, because That's Columbus why I got short. Hennessy in my cut right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm method acting as a comedian <laughs> doing. Because Columbus Short, he mentioned that on the yeah, show. He did, he did. And he was saying that in the beginning when he was acting, that's what he would do, but then that's not healthy because then some people don't know how to come back out of that character when yeah. it's time to go home. Uh, I'm very, uh, I'm a method actor. Mm -hmm. I remember you so, told me that. Yeah. yeah, so I didn't want to see her until I saw her. Right. And when so you I seen her, you like, I was like, okay, they killed me with this. <laughs> <laughs> you got me going to Amnesty International, me. Wow. Yeah. No, so we, you know, that I, I really did uh, garner a real relationship with her, and that's the kind of the only time. Yeah, you know, if I'm gonna keep it, a, keep it a buck. Keep it a buck. You got to realize if you're every day pretending. Mm -hmm. See, this is why I don't play gay roles, mm -hmm. right? Because I don't want to. That's not. I don't want to. Be in that I world. Can't, I can't. I can't do that. Right. I'm not gay. Right. Do you know what I'm saying? Like some actors have the ability to do that. Mm -hmm. I don't. So, you know Me what I mean? Me neither. Um, so, but when you create chemistry with a leading woman, and, it's, and you guys are, you know, the script is, you're going on a journey, not only a journey in the scriptural way. Emotional. Uh, yeah, and you're going on a process on production. Mm -hmm. right? You guys, you know, you're on a movie set with somebody for three months. You got to, it's a grind, it's a war, it's a battle. And then, boom, you're actually creating this chemistry and this vibe um, that actually turned you, uh, you know, so that that is all, it's not, you know what I'm saying? But just because this is where you get in toxic relationships, because just because you do a movie and you guys are creating some chemistry, um, you know, it even goes down to friendships. You think some people are your friends uh, just because you made a movie with them for 68 days. They're not your friends. Right. You just created that chemistry. Exactly. Let me tell you something about method acting. Let me tell you something about what Leonardo DiCaprio said. He said, I don't act, I channel. You understand what that means? That's 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 a uh, a spiritual energy that people don't understand. Right. When you channel a character, you know what I mean? Every <laughs> that's so funny. Uh, I know this might be a sound bite, so I watch how I say it. Uh my counterpart, my partner, my uh Beautiful 50% wife who I'm getting back with uh, right now told me that I'm very emotional back in the day. Not now. I'm, I got it under control. I'm like, I'm, I'm not so, I was never emotional like this. I'm like, okay, maybe I'm, I'm Big Mama. What the fuck? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a, you know what I'm saying? It's because you, when you play certain roles, if you, if you, if you tap into those roles, wow. mm -hmm. then you become them. That's good. And they follow you. When I, oh, when okay. I said I was broke on lottery ticket, I was broke for a season in my life. But I took on the oppression of the people and I spoke how we felt and that came on me. So I said, oh, wait a minute. Hold on. So when Kat said what he said, I was so in, in, engulfed and loved it because what he's saying is true. You can't and you can't just. It, that's what people think you're so slick. Certain entities think they're so slick when they say, "Okay, I want you to play this." Didn't say we had a problem with uh, the training day thing. He lived that. Wow. He said, he said that he couldn't come back from it. Really? I don't. His I didn't wife. Know. That was a whole thing. Right. He had to like repro. Okay, look at Matthew McConaughey. Look, look at Matthew McConaughey. Mm -hmm. Right. He did that movie uh, Dallas. Mm -hmm. Right. I remember that. It's gonna sound so bad. And that was a sound bite. You <laughs> said the right way because I know how, you, how people edit. So I'm gonna say it the right way. The comedian version with me will say if Cat was I'm gonna say it in Cat's voice. Ever since uh, 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 ever since Matthew McConaughey did the movie Dallas, his neck has never been the same. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say it in Cat's voice. That's hard. If I say it in my voice, they're gonna be like, oh, it's Brandy Jackson saying it. Because I'm a dramatic actor I'm, and I'm also a comedian. So what I say, and I'm also a spiritual entity, so what I say holds so much weight sometimes mm -hmm. that they it, it, it shocks the matrix so yeah. much. Yeah. Where they're like, oh, you know, he ain't got a shirt on. I haven't seen him since Big Mamas and lottery ticket. So they, <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, they have this like persona. They're chasing shadows. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.